My name is Cindy Sue Ngubane. Um, I'm working for Transnet as a senior project manager and the group capital. Basically, my role entails managing of projects in the capital infrastructure. So as Transnet and Group Capital, we, oh, we have oversight in terms of management of projects, interfacing of, pr of uh, packages, working with multiple disciplines. And our work is not only confined to Transnet, we engage with outside external um, stakeholders. I was nominated to participate on the program, but obviously even before the nomination, I was very much keen and interested in the program because of what I've seen and what I've heard and how it transformed the lives of those who had participated. When I was on the coal line, we were looking for, because of the expansion on the coal line, we were looking for uh, a range of project managers, senior project managers, etc. And that's when Cindy came along. She joined us from Eskom uh, to handle uh, in, uh, initially the Waterberg program. The, when Cindy came here, she was obviously uh, showing a lot of keenness to, to study and the first thing that we, we did was she completed some studies that, she'd, that had been initiated at, at Eskom. So we went through the processes of getting that approved so that she could actually finish those studies. And then, um, you know, given her diligence and her keenness and her aspiration to uh, improve herself, um, we nominated her then for the, for the IDP. Yes. The program capacitated me with techniques and skills that I wouldn't have gained anywhere else. Um, you know, also the opportunity to travel overseas and really be able to benchmark and it, it really, you know, broke down all the barriers. One was able to see what we have here at home and also be able to compare and see what we can take into making South Africa great. It's been a very privilege to be selected to participate on both programs. I, I was very fortunate to have had an opportunity to really have both in terms of the ILDP and the IEDP. So the two programs, they are the leadership development programs that are essentially about accelerated development. In my case, working as a specialist, so this was bridging the gap, enabling me into uh, be prepared for higher senior uh, roles in, my, in leadership. So on the ILDP, I had an opportunity to go to the Netherlands and Singapore and the theme that I picked up um, looking at the two, comparing the two countries, it was more about innovation. It was more about creating efficient um, transport solutions using technology. It was all about smart solutions that the transport sector really needs for us to move goods and to provide efficient services. So the action learning projects that we participated on as a group on during the ILDP um, it was a group assignment that involved us looking at the education and maybe uh, perhaps doing a comparison in terms of how the education can impact uh, the quality of uh, our transport sector. Because um, it is not to say, because even if, if you are to look at TITA, TITA is doing great in making sure that there are educated uh, people in the country that can make South Africa great. If I were to do a comparison on the person that I was before participating on the, on the program, definitely um, I am a hard worker and I tend to push. So with this, I tend to consider myself someone who makes things happen, someone who works hard. She grew in, in confidence, but there's another area that she had to grow in as well. So she grew, obviously, personally, in terms of her own growth. But remember that she came from Eskom, from that sort of environment, and she came into a a completely different environment here. So she landed up uh, having to uh, project manage as a senior project manage, manager, planning in a, in a rail environment, which, uh, which, uh, which she, she, managed to, um, she managed to grasp that relatively quickly. And um, today you can probably say she's mastered that. My background, I'm a professional registered uh, engineering technologist. Um, also registered professional construction project manager. So my work entailed a lot of things that I can think do on my own and also because of the engineering background one tends to be very much closed. So the program that I participated on broke a lot of barriers and enabled me to say I need to build networks around me. I need to what I do if I think I'm best at it 
collaborate, who else is doing what's best and then make sure that it's all about leadership that is inclusive. Because I think even for us as a country, we've been talking about inclusive growth. So inclusive growth means partnership, includes collaboration. So it is all those things that one needed to learn, breaking and moving away from maybe perhaps being a specialist. And also the other thing about the program, it, it built me as a holistic you know, you know, um, person. So now I'm able to manage real projects, be it of coal and be it of uh, manganese. So it, it basically has expanded, you know, the capabilities that I now have. So the program not only capacitated me in terms of giving me the skills and the tools and the techniques, but it enabled me now to also be able to see myself and be able to see how best I can move myself from where I am to my next level. And as I had given an example earlier, even on conflict management now, it was about the techniques of how to manage conflict should it arise because one would tend to avoid tech, you know, conflicts when it comes up. So the program really, really defined, you know, it was more about redefinition of character and also setting me up for success.